guys, my name is Patricia and I'm known as God's Design here on YouTube and I'm a motivation and lifestyle vlogger. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm coming to you guys with a favorites video. I love doing these types of videos. I actually really like watching these types of videos too. Here we do it seasonal and we share a variety of things. So let's go ahead and get started. Now you know these videos tend to be a little bit longer so go get your coffee, your tea, whatever you need. It's, it's gonna be, I'm gonna try to get through it. We'll see, we'll see how I do. So first we're going to start off with hair. I have been loving this deep conditioner that I fell on. This deep conditioner is from Maui Moisture and it is the Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Hair Mask for dry damaged hair, softens, quenches, and repairs. So I picked this up at Dwayne Reed. I got a Dominican blowout like a little while ago and I was told to bring my own deep conditioner. So I ended up stopping at the nearest Dwayne Reed and I looked at the ingredients of this particular product and it just really jumped out at me so I purchased it. The first few ingredients, um, you have aloe leaf juice, water, and coconut oil. There's shea butter in here too and my hair loves shea butter. This stuff smells so good, so good. The consistency is super thick super duper thick there's still quite a bit maybe about half still in here i've used it twice since the stylist used it in my hair and i love it like the moment it just hits my hair like she when she first put it in my hair my hair just melted melted like butter the next hair product that i want to share with you guys is from lotta body and it says lotta body with coconut and shea oils this is the moisture me curl in style milk it says defines curls tames frizz and adds moisture and brilliant shine for all hair types now I was not used to this packaging whatsoever. I'm used to like old school, lot of body, you know, hair products. So I, I don't know, this really stuck out to me. They were having a sale at the place I went to like buy one, get one half off. So I went to go get the foam. So I went and picked this up as well with it to get it half off. And um, I really, really like this. For my natural hair, I use the lock method and I use this as my cream. When I do, like when I use this product along with the oil that I choose to use and my leave-in, I, um, like my hair holds on tight to the moisture to the point where it takes days for my hair to dry. Yes, really, really like this. And it was rather affordable, like $4.59 was the original price and then I got it for half off. Another thing that I've been loving is this hair that was sent to me from Wiggins from AliExpress. I did do a review on it, guys. This by far has been um, one of my favorites because, I, mostly because of the texture. It is the body wave texture. Um, and to me, it's super duper low maintenance. Um, you can flat iron it if you would like, or you can wear it wet and wavy, like kind of what I'm doing right now. I mean, not wet and wavy, but just wavy. Requires no styling. Wake up in the morning, I brush through it. I spray just a little bit of water and a little bit of the Lala Body Foam, and then just let it dry. And it, it gives that sort of soft, tousled, natural wave look that I really, really like. Absolutely beautiful. I'll leave the um, link in the description and up in the ca cards. This way, that way. So next up is skincare, and I have one thing to show you guys this season. I have been loving, actually winter, winter into spring, I have been really loving this product, and it's from a company called Soap Cherie. This um, company is in uh, Brooklyn. It is a luxury natural uh, body and uh, skincare line. What I love about it is it's natural <laughs> and also the products are handmade um they do have an online shop for those guys who want to purchase from them um but if you guys you know live in the new york area then you guys can visit them in store this is the body lotion um and this is in the morning rose scent what i really like about this is you know i'm an ashy girl i get ashy you know and normally i like really thick thick lotions to keep the ash at bay but this is really lightweight but super moisturizing i mean it just feels so good and decadent um i absolutely love it let me show you guys the consistency is thick but lightweight if that makes any sense when i first used it i was like there's no way this is going to be good for me but it is perfect perfect for me i use the tip that you guys gave me you know, as soon as I get the shower while I'm still damp, put the lotion on, and that really started to work. But once I started using this lotion, I definitely really felt the difference when it came to keeping my skin moisturized. It worked in the winter. Obviously, it's working well in the spring now. Love it. I have tons of products from this line. I'm currently using the lotion and one of their soaps. Um, I still have one other soap to, to try, and I also have their body scrub 
too. So I can't wait to like dive into that. I've been really trying to go more natural when it comes to my skincare. You know, your skin's your largest organ, and plus it absorbs a lot of what you put on it. So I've been trying to do more. I try, I've been trying to do better with that. I'm trying to do better um, with choosing products that are um, more natural, especially when it comes to my body and my skincare. Oh, I skipped makeup. How did I skip makeup? I went straight from make to skincare. That's okay. That's all right. We can fix it. Next up is makeup. I have a foundation. Like I feel like I have a foundation to share with you guys every favorites video, but I've seriously been loving this one. And this one is from Lancome and this is the Tanty Doll Ultra 24 hour foundation. Love it, love it, love it. But if you are a follower of this channel, you already know that. I love this foundation. Um, it's full coverage, long lasting, perfect for normal to oily skin, but definitely, you know, combination oily, loves this foundation. I, I love this foundation. Perfect. It is, is it on the pricey side? I don't know. I think it's like 40 something dollars. There are about, I think seven to eight shades that are deeper the last time I checked in this shade. So as far as women of color friendly, Lancome knocks it out the park. I do have it on my face right now. I'm not wearing it at full coverage, but maybe somewhere in between medium and full. It's kind of like a rediscover for me because I, I went a while without this foundation. I feel like I have bad luck with it. I always drop it. I always leave it somewhere when I'm traveling. But um, I got a gift card for Valentine's Day. And so I use, for Sephora, so I use that gift card to purchase this foundation. And I just been wearing it a whole lot lately. Love it. The second makeup product that I want to share with you guys is also from Lancome. And I promise you I didn't plan it. And it is their, what is this? The Dual Finish Powder. And the color that this one is in 560 suede. And the foundation I wear is 470 suede. I have been using this powder to contour, right? Typically I use the Shea Butter Illuminating Powder in Mandalay Dusk. But y'all know with the whole Shea Moisture situation, I just wasn't sure how I felt about it. Like I wasn't sure what my stance was on it. So I didn't want to re repurchase the Mandalay Dusk because it did finish. I just wasn't sure. Like you guys let me know how you guys feel about the situation down below. I do understand, you know, it's a business and you want to expand at the same time, you really should never neglect um, your core, your core, um, you know, your core audience. That's just the way I feel. And I feel like even the aftermath wasn't, cause I feel like this, it could have been handled a completely different way even after the fact, but I don't appreciate how it was handled either. So does purchase Shea Moisture products pretty regularly. You know, some people are like, oh, I don't, I don't like their hair products, so it don't matter to me anyway. But I do purchase some of their hair products and some of their hair care products, like the shampoos that I really like, are you know clean but help to you know doesn't strip my hair. I like those, so I, I had to make I have to make a decision, but I'm not ready yet. So instead, I decided to shop my stash and I found this pow powder that was unused <laughs> in my stash. I had gotten it at an outlet store, a cosmetic outlet store. By the way, if you guys have one of those. Um, close by, it's a great way of getting high-end products for discounted price, especially around holidays or like, you know, like Mother's Day and um, Christmas, things. It's great, um, there's just awesome prices. So I think I got this for like 50% off and I love it because it's not too warm, so it makes for a very natural contour. Um, even though I do like something that's warmer around the summertime, I'll probably have to um, get pick up the CoverGirl one in Ebony to get me something that's a little bit more red. But I really, really like this. So for those of you guys who are struggling to find um, you know, good contour, contour powders, Try just to get like a regular powder that's like three or four shades deeper than your natural skin tone. The last makeup item that I have to share with you guys is right here. So if you guys have been watching the channel for the past few videos and you guys know that my sister and I started a medical apparel line and we're selling um, scrubs and jewelry and also beauty items. So this is our 12 hour longwear liquid lipstick in the color Nightingale and that is the color that I'm wearing on my lips right now. We formulated it so that it lasts your entire shift and I love it because it's long lasting without being too drying. It's still like in the nude family, like a brown terracotta type of color. Love it. The other color that we have is called Morphine and that's more on like the pinky movie side. So check it out. I'm going to leave our website down below. That's gracefulmedboutique.com 
Amazon.com if you guys are interested in purchasing this um, or some scrubs. We're still doing our free gift promotion, so if any of you guys want to purchase some medical apparel from us, um, some scrubs, either a top or a bottom, we throw in our electric heart necklace for free. It's really, really bright. Oh. Favorite accessories. So my favorite accessories, if you guys have been watching the past few videos, you probably have seen it. And it is um, these bracelets right here. I absolutely love them. I have four to share with you guys. These three right here are from Alex and Annie. I love the meaning behind them. Um, I have the number nine here since nine is my number. I also have the compass um, one. I have another one from Unwritten and this was gifted to me by one of my YouTube friends um, and it says Faith. Actually, I featured this in another video before, another favorites video before. Um, Faith Hope. Love, I love these. I used to, I was wearing them in videos but then I realized that they made a lot, a lot of noise when I was editing because I wear my mic where you guys can't see it and then when I rattle my hand, you guys hear the bracelets. But I've been loving those. Just for the meaning you know behind it and going into the store and purchasing something that sort of aligns with you know where you are in life and how you're feeling i i love it it's kind of like pandora in a sense buying charms but you buy like a whole bracelet that already has charms on it and they give you a card um and it explains like you know what that particular bracelet bracelet symbolizes so i really really Really, really love it and I plan on getting many more. <laughs> favorite YouTubers. So my favorite YouTubers, um, I have two to share with you guys. And typically I like to share YouTubers that are a little bit on the smaller side. Um, just because I want to help to support them. And not that I have a large audience, but just to bring, I don't know, just to bring new eyes to their channel, you know? But um, I've been watching this particular uh, couple and um, they have plenty of subscribers and I know I'm late to the game, but I absolutely been loving them and that is Jamie and Nikki. Um, I don't know, I just, I love their vlogs. Um, they just seem like really sweet people. Their baby girl is gorgeous and they live on the opposite side of the world, up, you know, where I've always wanted to visit, Australia. And, um, in Melbourne and it just seems really beautiful over there and it's just kind of fun to look at what look at what life is like for other people who live like on a completely different side of the world. The second YouTuber I want to share with you guys another family vlogger um, type situation and that is Larian and Rudy. Um, young couple with two beautiful baby boys and um, they are a smaller smaller channel and I found them recently young Christian couple and I just love their, their on-screen presence. They're a young Christian couple, and they even share like the text of the day or the scripture of the day every vlog, and I think that's pretty cool. I don't wanna have to do this over. Uh, oh, dang. I don't wanna have to do this over. I don't know why this thing is so bright. I feel the ISO is all the way down. I'm shooting wide open, that's the thing. Favorite book? Right here, Medical Apartheid by Harriet A. Washington. This book is basically about the um, history of uh, medical experimentation on black people in this country. Yes, it has happened, Tuskegee and others, and there's plenty of examples right here in this book. So if you're a black American, I think you should watch this. I mean, read this. Um, it's it's sad, it's, it's sad because I just don't understand how people can be so heartless, you know? Um, really? But it's also very eye-opening as well. Last time, my favorite food has been, I think it's by like Harvest or something. Or, anyway, they're the Snap Pea Crisps. Crisps? Yes, chips, crisps, something like that. I've been loving them. They come in like a variety of flavors. I used to eat them way back in the day. I was reintroduced um, recently through my friend Ray and I have just been loving those. The wasabi ranch, the um, tomato basil, and there's even a mango chipotle one that I like. I'll leave like a picture up here so you guys know what I'm talking about. But they're basically like, you know, snap peas that are like baked that you can like snack on. And then they season it with different flavors. Really, really like them. They're a healthy alternative. You probably shouldn't go ham on them. Um, because some of them, if you get the regular kind, they're pretty high in sodium, but they do have a lightly salted option too. Check them out. You find them like in the, 
vegetable and fruit section of your grocery store. If you're a chip eater and you're trying to find something else to substitute like your Lay's chips, check these out. Anyway, y'all, those are the favorites that I want to share with you guys today. Let me know what you guys have been loving down below. Don't forget to check out my website, www.gracefulmedboutique.com for all your medical apparel. And yeah, don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Periscope, and I even have a vlog channel. Everything you need will be down below. I hope you guys are well and in good spirits whenever it is that this video meets you and I'll see you guys soon. Actually, I'll see you guys Sunday with another video. And as always, God bless. Sunshine.